ອົງຈຸມແລະປະກາດບັນຕໍດໍານາການສັບນາການ <cười> cần lành khăng cày bị tự bị bỏ quật bình Look, Craig, Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. But a low protein, Ramtra Hajmur Baknum, good Craig I am an American citizen. I currently reside in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I am an investigator with the Office of Co-Prosecutors of this court. โยงตามរបាយការរបស់ក្លាមជីសម្ណាការថាលោក Craig Do you solemnly declare that you will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do solemnly declare that I will speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Craig, 
ตาลุกทลบานศึกษาอัมพีรัชนาสมปนระบบกัมพูชาเชื่อปฏิไดยพัดดาวตื่นลือแต่ไอกษาในขนมระบบนุเชื่อปิเซและคันติกะปะกรมนิกามุชีดายฤติยศครับผมผมได้ทดสอบการครองโยมบันศึกษาอัมพีรัชนาสมปองบอกประตูมีกามุชีดอยปราบไอกษาเซมเซนนั่งจมลอยระบบสะเซย์ทางไลตามหลักพอลในการตรายชื่อบอลลูกตะลูกอายกำหนดอัมพีรัชนาสมปองระบบปะกุมนิกามุชีนั่งระบบกามุชีประชาธิปไตยบานดายฤติ I can, Your Honor. Um, uh, would the chamber please uh, assist me in how much detail you would like to know about the structure at this point? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, uh, would the chamber please assist me in how much detail you would like to know about the structure at this point? ตอบหนึ่งสนมโปนี่สมชื่น Yes, thank you, President. Uh, I have some questions for you, Dr. Richardson. Um, and before we move to the structure of the Communist Party of Kampuchea and Democratic Kampuchea, I want to establish your qualifications as an expert. Very well. Dr. Etchison, do you hold a Master of Arts degree from the University of Illinois in Political Science and a Doctorate in International Relations from the University of Southern California? Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. And in your capacity as an investigator for this court, did you prepare a paper entitled Overview of Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea, document D-15? Yes, Your Honor, and I believe that document is on the case file. The ERN numbers for that document in English are 0014682 in Khmer 0031477800301409073 and in French 0031467 The next question is this. Have you held senior academic or research positions at Yale, George Washington, and Johns Hopkins universities since the late 1990s? Most recently, as visiting scholar, Johns Hopkins University School of International Studies, Foreign Policy Institute, Washington, D.C., between 2004 and 2007. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. And have you conducted extensive research, particularly in relation to Southeast Asia and into genocide studies? Yes, Your have you also published widely in these fields and in particular concerning the Khmer Rouge period in Cambodia? 
That is correct, Your Honor. Have you been engaged in studying the structures of democratic Kampuchea for approximately 30 years? And was your first book on this topic entitled The Rise and Demise of Democratic Kampuchea, published 25 years ago? Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. And the uh, reference to that book in the um, case file is 4.15 ERN 0010 5316200105324. In preparing the paper, Overview of the Hierarchy of Democratic Kampuchea, did you draw on your own research and on relevant documents and other publications? Yes, Your Honor, I did. Do you speak Khmer, the Khmer language and can you read the Khmer language? No, Your Honor. I neither speak nor read Khmer. So, uh, by what method did you examine the Khmer language materials? In my research, I examined Khmer language materials with the help of translators and interpreters. And I also examined Khmer language materials that have been translated into languages I can read, such as English, French, or German. Thank you. Now, moving to that paper, uh, the uh, overview of the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea, have you set out in that paper the structure and responsibilities of all organs of democratic, democratic Kampuchea? Your Honor, um, not all organs of democratic Kampuchea, as is suggested by the title. Overview of the hierarchy of democratic Kampuchea. Uh, this analysis was meant to cover major structures rather than to be comprehensive. Thank you. Could you list some of the major sources used by you in the preparation of this paper? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, if it please the court, I have brought along some documents that I would like to refer to in the course of my testimony. Uh, if I may uh, refer to those materials now. Yes, please do. Your Honor, one key source that I will be referring to during my testimony is the 1976 Statutes of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. The ERN for this document in English is 00182 ซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซูนปีปีซ
In addition to these two documents, in my analysis, I also refer to a variety of telegrams to from the party center, including messages from zone leaders such as Ross Nim, Sao Pim, and Kaipok, among others. I also refer to a wide variety of reports that were various organizational units of democratic Kampuchea in the zones, district, cooperatives, military units, and other units. I also refer to many different kinds of minutes of meetings, such as minutes of the Standing Committee of the Communist Party of Cambodia, minutes of the General Staff of the Revolutionary Army of Cambodia, and minutes of meetings of the Council of Ministers. I also refer to witness statements and suspect statements. I refer to a variety of publications from the Communist Party of Kampuchea, such as Revolutionary Flag and Revolutionary Youth. I refer to various contemporaneous media reports during the time of the Democratic academic analyses. I also refer to a variety of documents from S21, including confessions, prisoner lists, and notebooks that were kept by cadres who were employed at S21. I refer to a number of United Nations reports, several computer databases, and a variety of other sources. Now, um, drawing on that material uh, and referring to your paper, can you uh, tell the court what the most powerful organ of the party and of democratic Kampuchea was? In theory, the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Cambodia was the most powerful organ of Democratic Cambodia. Central Committee's responsibilities. If I can refer, Your Honor, to the overview of the hierarchy paper, the Central Committee's duties included implementation of the party's lines throughout the giving instructions to all zones, sector, and municipal organizations, and to the party organs taking responsibility for various nationwide departments and administering and deploying cadre and party members within the party as a whole 
while maintaining a clear and constant grasp on their biographies and political, ideological, and organizational stances, and constantly indoctrinating and educating them in terms of politics, ideology, and organization. And that statement is found at 0016824, paragraph 11. Is that correct? That's correct, where were those responsibilities uh, recorded? Those responsibilities are defined in Article 23 of the CPK statutes. Did the uh, CPK convene regularly? According to Article 21 of the CPK statutes, a party congress was to be convened every four years. According to Article 25 of the CPK statutes, ordinary meetings of the party were to be held every six months. In practice, Your Honor, the first CPK Congress was held in 1960, and the fifth CPK Congress was held in 1978. So with five Congresses across the course of 18 years, it appears that the requirement in Article 21 of the CPK statutes was met by the party leaders. Um, However, while there were ordinary meetings of the party from time to time, based on my understanding of party history, they did not manage to meet as often as every six months for an ordinary meeting. In some periods, uh, Particularly uh, during the periods of, of war, they seem to be rather less frequently. Thank you. Now, you said before that, in theory, the Central Committee was the most powerful organ of the party. Uh, did it delegate its duties to any other organ or body? Yes, Your Honor. In between party congresses, the duties of the Central Committee were carried out by the Standing Committee, uh, which was an executive body of the Central Committee. Thank you. Now, in your paper, you prepared a chart showing the command structure of the Communist Party of Kampuchea Standing Committee. Are you able to show that chart now? Um, Yes, Your Honor, with but the uh, assistance, assistance of, of AV. The, the ERN number is Perhaps you would just quickly lead us through that chart, which is mostly self-evident, um, but um, the different names uh, at the top of the chart may be of interest. Yes, Your Honor. This organization chart uh, uh, depicts my understanding of the Standing Committee of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea. 
this body was also also known as Angkor Lu or, or the Thai organization. It was sometimes referred to as the party center or sometimes referred to as the upper brothers. The standing committee consisted of Pol Pot, who was secretary of the Communist Party, Nguyen Chea, who was deputy secretary, and in 1975, Ying Seri, Von Vet, Mien Bon Vet, Sao Pim, Mien Sao Pim, Tom Mok, Mien Tam Mok, and Ross Nim, Hai Nung Ru Nim, were members Ban Klai Tu Chi Sa Ma Chik, Nei Kena Chen Trai, while Son Sen, Ri Ai Son Sen, and Kung So Paul, Hai Nung Kung So Paul, were alternate members. Ku Chi Sa Ma Chik Bam Rong, Nei Kena Chen Trai, Pak Kum Nei Kam Pu Chi. Now, alongside some of those names, you have dates with the Pol Pot, for example, D 1998, which I presume means that he died in 1998. Could you just tell us the indications under Von Vet, Sao Pim, Tha Mok, Ross Nim, Son Sen, and Kung Sopal, please? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Um, you are correct that where I have indicated for example this is meant to indicate that Pol Pot died apparently of natural causes in the case of Von where it says E.1978 this is meant to indicate that he was executed in the case of Sao Pim, where I have indicated in 1978, this indicates that he committed suicide in 1978 after he was wounded while an arrest attempt was being made by the party center. In Tom Mok's case, he died of natural causes in 2006. Ross Nim was executed in 1978. Son Sen was executed in 1997. Kung Sopal was executed in 1978. Thank you. Is there any other comment you wish to make on that chart, perhaps relating to uh, Son Sen and Kung Sopal's membership as alternate members? Um, yes, uh, over the course ក្នុងដំណាក់កាលនៃរបបនោះខ្ញុំជឿថាសុនសេនមានស្ថានៈ <coughs> 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 <coughs>
ERN và đã miên lệ ERN zôn zôn muối buôn pram muối pram bay pram buôn thank you chào khóm xin ốc con oh excuse me your honor lúc chào khóm this particular chart ta rang với ní miên mình thật là khả năng xâm đồng rừng tê This chart is a summary of my understanding of the structure of the party as it is described in the statutes of the Communist Party of Cambodia. If you just sit for a moment, can I ask if any party has any opposition to this new material being used to illustrate Dr. Itch's evidence? Uh, None from the prosecutors, from the civil parties. None, Your Honour. Thank uh, you. We would be grateful uh, if uh, uh, some copies are available for us. Yes, uh, yes. yes. Uh, uh, hard copy. Uh, I don't have a hard copy, but I'm sure we can make those available later. From the defence. From the defence. Uh, même observation, Madame le juge, je souhaiterais une copie sur papier uh, et un numéro ERN uh, pour uh, ce document soit uh, retrouvé uh, 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 Can I just explain uh, uh, that this is a new chart? It is not yet in the case file, uh, but a hard copy can be made available later, not immediately. Is that acceptable to you? Oui, pardon, ce n'est pas un numéro ERN que je demandais, c'est un numéro une côte pour qu'il puisse figurer, être versé au dossier officiellement et que quand nous nous y référons, nous puissions avoir son existence. Je ne sais pas comment ça va être fait, mais il va le faire. Merci. Il ne semble pas qu'il y ait une opposition à se référer à ce chart maintenant de l'Etchison, alors peut-être que tu pourrais nous aider à le faire, s'il te plaît. អាចបញ្ញូលយើងតាមតារាងដែលលោកបានស្ដាននេះបាទលោកសេចក្រក់ក្រមក្រិកអេជីសិនអាត់ធឹកនៅខាងលើ below the level of the standing committee, the Democratic Party was divided into a number of zones. Each of these zones was governed by a three-person party committee composed of the Secretary, a Deputy Secretary, and a Deputy Secretary for Security, and a member of the 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 Secretary for and other members of the Zone Committee were appointed by the Zone Secretary to approve of the Standing Committee. Initially, a Democratic approach in 1975, there were six zones. The South, the West, the Northwest, the North, the northeast and the east. There were also several autonomous areas and still other areas known as special municipal regions under military authority, including the capital of Phnom Penh, and the nation's principal seaport, Kampong Sao. 
Kampung Sao Mui Tiet. In 1976, two of the autonomous sectors, sectors 103 and 106, were combined to form a new north zone, while the zone that had previously been known as the north was henceforth called the Central Zone. Later, the autonomous sectors 105 and 505 were incorporated into the Eastern Northeast Zone. zone. The zones were themselves further subdivided into entities known as sectors. Uh, the number of sectors in each zone varied, ranging from the sector with the smallest number of zones, the new north zone, which had only two sectors, to the sector that had the greatest number uh, to the zone that had the greatest number of sectors, the north west, which was divided into seven sectors. Like the zones, the sectors were governed by three persons, party committees consisting of a secretary, a deputy secretary, typically responsible for security matters, and a member, typically responsible for economics. Sector secretaries uh, in established zones were appointed uh, by the zone secretary with uh, the approval of the standing uh, committee. And other uh, members of the sector committee uh, were generally appointed by the sector secretary with the approval of the zone secretary and the standing committee. However, for autonomous sectors, such as 103 and 106, before they were combined into the new north zone, those were controlled directly by the standing committee and the ហើយនៅក្នុងតំបន់ទាំងនេះគឺគឺជាការទទួលខុសត្រូវរបស់ District secretaries were generally speaking appointed by the sector secretary with the approval of the zone secretary and the standing committee, while other members of the district committee were generally appointed by the district secretary with the approval of the zone and sector secretaries. Districts were a key echelon in the hierarchy of democratic Cambodia because the districts maintained security offices which distinguished between enemies who were to be disposed of locally and enemies who would be sent up the chain of command to higher level authorities. Also, with districts, យើងគណិតឃើញថាដេមូក្រេតិកកម្ពុជាហើយមុនពេលដែលមានកម្ពុជាប្រជាធិបតេយ្យគឺមានស្រុកមួយចំនួនដែលរដ្ឋបាលស
តែគេហៅថាជាសហគមន៍ដែលគេហៅជាអោយគោរួមគ្នានឹងធ្វើការ Branch which was the lowest committee committee that may well uh, suffice uh, for this organization Yes, thank you very much. Now, uh, I want to focus uh, on, on the relationship between any of these organs uh, and the accused uh, and S21. So my questions are directed accordingly from this point on. How were the Central Committee and the organs established formally? Your Honor, at the first Congress of the Communist Party of Cambodia in 1960, approximately 20 persons gathered in a house near the Railway Station and elected a ជាប្រសិនតែងតាំងមនុស្សបីអ្នកឲ្យធ្វើជាគណៈចិនត្រៃ Number and functions of subsidiary organs that were established by the government. The structure was, of course, reflected in the statute to which you have already referred. Was that structure a reflection of uh, the uh, establishment uh, started in 1960, or were there some novel points in the statute itself? That's a very complicated question. Um, we know that the 1976 statute uh, of the CPK was not the first CPK statute. We have uh, pre-1976 documentation documentation CPK documents uh, that were the first CPK statute. Uh, However, uh, I have not seen uh, copies of any of these pre-1976 CPK statutes, so I can only make inference that they have contained. That said, 
ហើយនឹងទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទៅទ
some of the Now, I want to ask uh, whether the CPK Central Committee or its standing committee uh, played any role in the control of the government of democratic Kampuchea. I would refer in reference to this question, Your Honor, to a document I previously mentioned called Decisions of the Central Committee regarding a number of matters, which is ERN ໂຕຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ່ງຫນຶ
Thank you. Uh, now, you have said that um, the uh, Standing Committee had the duty to monitor policy. Is that correct? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Um, Again, referring to the uh, no, excuse me. I would like to refer to a, another document. This document is a minute of a meeting of the Standing Committee dated 9 October 1975. It is ERN. Zero, zero, one, In this document, at ERN 0018336996, the minutes say the Office of the Standing Committee makes contacts back and forth with each section. The Standing Committee monitors each section's implementation of the line. The office has the task of monitoring implementation. Thus, we can see from very early on in the regime that this office was responsible for monitoring the implementation of CPK policy nationwide. So does that mean that the zones were expected to report to Office 870? Yes, Your Honor. That's correct. The CPK statutes require each echelon to report regularly to its superior echelon. What control did Office 870 and or the Standing Committee exercise over security within the zones? Hmm. Referring again to the document titled Decision of the Central Committee regarding a number of matters. Uh, which we, uh, previously gave the ERN number four. This document made the center office responsible for security of the center for nationwide security. We know from numerous witness statements that a subsidiary organ of the Standing Committee known as the Center Military Committee maintained control of security outside the center. Some of those witness statements are on the case file, uh, but unfortunately uh, we do not have any uh, contemporaneous documents which would corroborate those witness statements. Returning briefly to your um, chart uh, that as yet does not have an ERN number but sets out the relationship uh, from the Central Committee through to the cooperatives. Uh, can I assume that uh, the zones had certain security responsibilities in relation to sectors, district parties, cadres, and party members? 
Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Article 19 of the CPK statute describes the security responsibilities of the zones. The zone committees were responsible for cadres and sectors and the districts and are required to closely examine the personal histories of all cadres. And uh, were the zones expected to collect, collate information including personal biographies? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, Every CPK cadre was required to regularly update a detailed autobiography, uh, which would then be meticulously checked and verified by inspectors. And how were those biographies used? The biographies were used to search for and identify what were known as bad elements, that is, party members who had some flaw in their personal history, in their life history, which might indicate that they could be less than fully loyal to the party. For example, if your parents had owned two cows and a buffalo in the old society, then that means you came from a middle peasant background rather than a poor peasant background, and therefore you were not pure in the eyes of the party. And if such information uh, emerged from the biographies, uh, did the zones have disciplinary authority in relation to those people? Again, referring to the statutes of the CPK, Article 4 of the CPK statute concerning party discipline requires all members of the party to enforce discipline. Article 19 of the statutes concerning the tasks of the zone committee specifically requires the zone committee to enforce discipline in the zone framework. In confessions uh, that you have examined from S20, uh, that derived from S21, have you located any references to executions under zone authority? Madame le Président, excusez-moi, est-ce qu'on oui. est qu pourrait oui. prendre le temps uh, de la traduction uh, quand vous avez fini appel. de parler avant que l'expert ne réponde et réciproquement which aspect have we lost so far, Matt? Answer to the last question. Souvent, nous avons un problème de décalage. Donc, si on peut aller plus lentement, Yes, I do apologize. I can't hear any other translation, so I don't know when it stopped, but we will try harder. Thank you. Now, uh, Dr. Richardson, could you just um, go back to your uh, the last question, which concerned uh, disciplinary, oh, sorry, yes, disciplinary authority held by the zones. 
Yes, Your Honor. Article 4. ອາມິດຕາບຸນໃນລະຄັນຕະກະປະຄົມນິກຳປູຊີບາດຊາຍອັນ Kanak, uh, Read S21. Confessions that derive from S21. That you have read. Were there any references to executions under zone authority? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, there are many. One example is the S21 confession of Chuchet Secretary of the West Zone. Uh, that confession is dated uh, 21 March 1978 and is ERN ERN means zone one three nine zero zero zone. In this confession, the West Zone Secretary described executions in the West Zone that were carried out under his own authority. Um, Thank you. ຈົ່ງກ້ອມສົມອົກຄຸນຈິດ Yes, Your Honor. Each zone committee commanded a regiment commanded and by a general staff. Similarly, sector committees commanded armed units often of regiment size which were also managed by a at the district level, uh, the, the party committee also commanded uh, armed units. Uh, but these units were often less formal and 
ដែលជួនកាលដែលមានទម្រង់ជាកងឈ្លោកដែលគេហៅថាកងឈ្លោកនោះហើយនៅក្នុងលំដាប់ថ្នាក់ស្រុកនេះ Thank you. Were the zones directed to take any disciplinary action relating to internal security? Because yes, Your Honor. Chumlai, bad look. Chao Kram, Sri Chao Kram. Oh. Echelons were constantly exhorted by the party center to take action on internal security. If I may, I could cite some examples from party publications that I included in my overview. Please do. In the party journal, revolutionary flag, November ដែលថ្នាក់នៅក្នុងសំណុំរឿងលេខ we have been able to sweep cleanly away more than 99% of the contemptible major concealed enemies from within. Things throughout the country must be examined like this. Each sector be examined like this. Each cooperative must be examined like this. The army and ministries and offices must be examined like this. A second example also from revolutionary flag comes from the May 1978 on the case file at ERN 06-06-45-51-51 through 00-06-05-51 this publication says and I quote we must see as key the duties of attacking the domestic enemy that this is related to every one of all other duties every party level must therefore adopt the role of leading the army and the people to attack all such enemies, sweep them cleanly and sweep ceaselessly so that our party forces are pure, our leading forces at every level and every sphere are clean at all times. 
บจบในสกิดอสรองชาวกรมสมอคุณ What was Son Sin's role in the CPK Standing Commission and in government? Son Sin was the chairman. ដែលមានចម្លើយទៅនឹងសំណួររបស់លោកស្រីចៅក្រមនេះស្រាប់ Abupon <laughs> The government shown in this chart. He was the deputy prime minister for national defence. In the party, as shown in the previous chart. And finally, And in the government, he had a leading role. However, his real authority flowed from his position in the Communist Party of Cambodia. Thank you. And from that chart, you indicate that the accused, as chair of S21, reported to Son Sen in his capacity as the deputy prime minister with responsibility for national defence. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, with um, one caveat, uh, as shown in this chart uh, from the time that the accused became chairman of S21 in March 1976 until September 1977, the accused reported directly to Son Sen. However, in September 1977, Son Sen was assigned to go to the east to take command of the Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea, which was engaged in escalating conflict with Vietnam. From that time, September 1977, through January 1979, the accused reported to Nguyen Chia, the CPK Deputy Secretary. On the case file, the accused uh, you can find confirmation of that fact by examining the cover sheets of 
many different yeah, S21 confessions that were sent from S21 to upper echelon prior to September 1977. These confessions were typically addressed to Son Sen, whereas after September 1977, you can see from notations on the cover sheets the confessions that after that date they were sent to the chair. Yes, thank you. In his testimony, the accused, as I understand him, said that there were four groups whose orders had to be obeyed. The first group was the seven zone secretaries, then the chair of the committee of office 870, then the standing committee, and then the general staff, namely Son Sen. Do you agree with that statement? To a certain degree, yes, I do. However, I would also say that hierarchical authority was absolute in the Communist Party of Kampuchea and in the organization of democratic Kampuchea, so that anyone in that organization was required to obey the orders and directives of his superior Now you have um, some new. mentioned uh, Son Sen's role in the military. Could you uh, expand on the military's responsibilities for security, both external and internal? Yes, Your Honor. The Revolutionary Army of Kampuchea was charged with protecting both internal and external security. I discussed this issue in the overview paper, so if I can refer to it once again, and again, this is a citation to an issue of the party journal Revolutionary Flag dated June 1976, which is on the case file at ERN 00-06 Two eight three six through zero zero zone zero six two eight seven six in that edition of revolutionary flag the party leadership stresses that, quote, the core and crucial duty of the Revolutionary Army is the defense of the country and of security domestically within the country. Thank you. 
Now, is there any other comment that you want to make on the chart that is presently on our screens, or shall we uh, ask AV to turn it off? Uh, you can turn it off, Your Honor. Thank you. Now, in his, um, in any of his roles, did you see any documents where Son Sen gave orders concerning internal security to military commanders? Yes, Your Honor. In my report overview of the hierarchy of Democratic Cambodia, I present many examples of documents which show giving orders to military commanders regarding internal security. For example, um, there is a document titled Minutes of the Meeting of Secretaries and Deputy Secretaries of Divisions secretaries and deputy secretaries of regiments. This document is dated 2 August 1976 and it is on the case file at ERN 00 8 in this document Son Sen is quoted as saying, In carrying out the duty of defending the country, it is imperative to think in terms of fending off enemies, both external and internal. But it is especially important to pay attention to fending off the enemy that is boring from within. This means it is imperative to pay attention to purging no good elements completely from the party, the core organizations and our male and female combatants within the Revolutionary Army. Uh, Thus, we have evidence in this document of Son Sen ordering his military commanders to carry out purges throughout the army and the party. Do you have other references you wish to make in relation to this question, Dr. Etchison? Uh, otherwise, we'll adjourn now at the President's request and resume tomorrow morning. That document should be adequate to make the point, I think, Your Honor. Thank you, Dr. Etchison. Mr. President. ลูกสงวัคน์
Nous avons une difficulté en ce sens que nous avons des références avec des numéros de RN de documents en anglais. Il serait, à mon avis, utile qu'on puisse savoir l'ensemble des références dans les trois langues, surtout s'agissant de documents dont la plupart, me semble-t-il, sont en cambodgien, en langue originale. Il serait, à mon avis, aussi utile qu'on puisse savoir si le document est un document qui comporte une cote D, quelque chose, ou si c'est un document qui est joint au réquisitoire introductif, auquel cas il a également une référence dans le réquisitoire introductif, ce qui nous permettrait à tout le mois de pouvoir accéder plus facilement au document qui est évoqué et euh, utilisé par l'expert. Ceci pour faciliter les débats, je pense, l'ensemble des Oui, Monsieur le Président, on pourrait également, pour faciliter le travail, demander à l'expert de citer quelle est la note à laquelle il se réfère, puisque dans son rapport, il a versé un certain nombre de documents selon des numéros qui sont à la suite de son rapport. Si donc vous pouvez avoir la gentillesse quand il parle d'un document de nous donner la, le numéro de la note euh, qui informe sur ce document, nous pourrions le retrouver plus facilement dans nos trois langues, ce qu'on appelle la note de bas de page. Il y a 335 notes de bas de page et donc en fait 335 documents qui sont annexés au rapport par ces numéros on peut facilement les retrouver. Yes, Dr. Etchison, uh, are you able to do that for the future and also provide us with the other references for the ERN numbers you have given today, which refer to the English version only? Your Honor, it, it would be um, easy for me to, in many cases, refer to a footnote number in the overview report. Um, I would add that, although there are, however many, uh, Council has cited um, 300 and some footnotes in the document. Um, uh, some of those individual footnotes actually cite many documents rather than one. Be that as it may, I can make an effort to provide both uh, case file document numbers and ERNs uh, for all three languages for the various documents uh, I refer to and uh, I try to make that available to the court to provide to the parties. Thank you very much, Dr. Richardson. អរគុណលោកបណ្ឌិតបកាស
ำหรับไงในตรงนี้หายสำนักการเลือกเดิมบนตอนในไงสายจับปีมองประมูลปรึกโดยฉะนั้นสมอันเชิญแนวโจรุ่มทั้งอ๋ออันเชิญมองโจรุ่มเลือกขนมในเตะวิธีสำนักการนั่งไงบานบนมองกำนัดอันนู้นแหละมันตีคงแข้งนอมจุดเจ็บเจ้าตะกันมันตีคงแข้งวิ่งเฮยบงกอบไปนอมคลุนกอดมกันสาวสามนาคาในไทยใต้บ้านบนมองผมบุญเชียร์กมหัด